Hi everyone, Tom Chapman here, and welcome to part 11 of my Map Tool tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be dealing with creating a handout and portrait page to use in your game sessions to share information with players. Now, the purpose of a handout and portrait page is just like at a tabletop game, when you have a handout, let's say, from a prince that you give to the players, or you describe an NPC and you have a picture of them. In this case, it's instead of being on a piece of paper, we project it on a screen or we share it out over the internet using Map Tool. Now, I would like to thank uh, YouTube user Mr. Michael for requesting this. He asked for this in one of the comments of a previous video, and so this is for you, Mr. Michael. In front of you right now, I have open, as you can see up at the top, my Curse of the Crimson Throne Part 6 campaign. And I am on my narrative outline right now. So I have two separate pages set up. Go over here, I have my pictures page and my handouts page. We're gonna start with pictures or NPC portraits. Now all of these portraits that you see in front of you are every NPC that the PCs might encounter in part six of Curse of the Crimson Throne. When I put them on here, I put them in the background level which means that I can't move them and they're not automatically sized as in the token layer. You can also use hidden or object. I'd suggest using either object or background. As hidden, you would have to change the layer that the tokens are in as well, or the images are in to share them. So I'm gonna click on background. And when the players see this, they actually do not see every portrait on here. They only see the portraits I've shared with them or that I've made visible to them. And I can see that by hovering over one. So here I have Cressida Croft. And if you look, her name underneath her portrait is in blue, a slight blue tint. That means that the players can see that when they see this map. If I, however, go over to this demon right here, you can see that his name is a gray tint. That means he is not visible. So if I have Cressida and I don't want the players to see it, I'll right click go down to visible to players, and that makes her invisible when they're on this page. And to make it visible again, I just select it again. Same with this image here. In the same way, I also have a player handout page. So if I select handouts, it takes me here. And I actually have three handouts that the players can see. I have a letter, a map, and a contract with a demon. So I have all three of these that I could show with the players. I've put them on the background level again, and again, they're all with a gray name underneath, which means when the players come to this page, they can't see it. So when I'm ready to share it with them, I would just right click and go to visible to players and they would see it. We wanna make sure that it's big enough for our players to see, so normally, I would go with 100%. If you look down here, my zoom is at 100%, and whatever I copied this as I did in video seven, and then pasted it in here, that's exactly what I will see when it all comes together. What I'm gonna do now is show you what it looks like from the player's end. So I'm gonna bring up my player map, and I'm gonna move this to another screen so that you don't have to see it, and you can kind of follow along with what I would do. Now there's a couple of shortcuts that we can use to help guide players, whether they're playing over the internet or in the same room on a TV, to see the handouts in front of them. So I'm gonna start off with the handouts page. On my GM screen, I'm still on the same map that I just showed you, and I've got it zoomed to 100%, and I've got the view how I would like to see it. There's a shortcut you can use to force the players to see the same map that you are seeing. And the shortcut is Control e It'll load the map. And as you can see, you're there now on, up here, the handouts map. I forced them there, but they can't see anything because it's still hidden from their view. So I'm going to right click on my GM screen, make it visible. And now they can see it. Now there's another one, another shortcut that we can use to help guide our players when we're looking at handouts. So if I adjust this a little and hit Control f it changes the view that the players are in. And then I might zoom in a little more on their screen, or they can do this and make it 100%. And they can then read that on their own or view it in their own time. 
Now let's say I want to show them the map that I showed you just a moment ago. I would right click and I'm going to make it visible to players on my screen and you can see it's popped up over here on the right hand side but they can't see it so if you're playing in a room uh, with everybody looking at the same TV you kind of have to guide it for them. So again I'm going to kind of put it in the right spot and hit Control F and they can get an idea of the map. Now the downside to this is if they want to look in here you either have to do it for them or you have to scroll in, make it big enough for them to read so they can go, oh, 15 miles north to the Fenwall Mountains on the way to the Sunken Queen. Now the pros about this is this can be made easily readable and it's quick to do. You don't have to make any copies and it can be in color. If you don't have access to a color printer, you can make it in color, put it up on the screen. Everybody can look at the same thing at the same time. No one has to go, oh, can I see the handout, please? everybody gets to look at it at the same time. The only downside is, is the players don't get the copy. Now you can get around this. I do things like this where I'll show it to the group and then once they're done looking at it and they move on, I'll email it to them so that they have a copy that they can look at on their own. Overall, my players really enjoy having this as an option because it gives them something colorful and big to look at and they can all go over the same document at the same time. Now the same process works for the portraits. So if I go to my map on my GM screen and hit Control E, it'll force the players to the portrait page, then Control F so they see the same thing I do. Now if you recall, there's quite a few portraits that the players saw earlier, or that you saw earlier, that the players cannot see now. So if I wanted them to see this demon, I would just right click on it and make it visible to players, and then they can go, oh, that's what I'm looking at. And then if they want a better view, I just zoom in until it's the right size, control F, and they can get a better view of this. Or let's say I want them to see this NPC, force them to my view, visible to players, and then I can share images that way. As far as putting these images into Map Tool, this is actually the same process as putting a map in the map tool that we covered in video 7. So if you want to review on that, go ahead and hit the video 7. I'll put a link to it in the description below to help you find it. The only difference would be the size that you would like to make it and whether you put it in the object or background. Other than that, the process is the exact same. So thank you for your time today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.